thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Sorreo. We are here today at Palos Verdes High, home of the Red Tide, where you will meet the boys varsity basketball team. Tell me a little bit about the makeup of the team this year. Um, we have a great group of kids. Um, obviously, they all get along, and I think that's that's the best thing we've got going for us. Is they really like practicing, they really like being with each other. Um, you know, the games are the games are just a fun byproduct of you know the, them all being friends. So it's it's really exciting to see uh, see that kind of cohesion. It's really fun because when you see guys that have known each other for a long time and they sort of can read their mind, it can only help on the court. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think when we win games and we've won a lot this year, it's been because we pass the ball, we share the ball. Everybody's trying to help the team win and there's no individual uh, play. You know, everybody's trying to do it as a team. And that's that, again, comes from them really enjoying playing together. Yeah. And then from a coaching perspective, what's been the biggest challenge? Even though you do really well, is there one challenge that kind of sticks out that you're sort of always in the back of your mind? Well, I mean, we're doing well this year, so I wouldn't say that you know we've we've got it all all figured out. But so far, I mean, the the, the big the big challenge is, is always um, getting up for big games. You know, whether it's Redondo or Costa League games. League is always the toughest part of our schedule, um, and and that you know it sets us up for the playoffs. But you know, for us, it's it's competing in league, and that's what we're doing this year. So that that's the that's the big thing. And you know, I asked some of the guys what your message was to them. What what messages do you really want them to know at the end of the day? At the end of the day, if you play hard and you prepare yourself, that you know you'll be successful. Um, you know, those are the main two things. You represent your school well and, and all that stuff. Yeah. I think a lot of the motivation, especially this year, is just from experiencing some tough years. So you know, you have a bunch of seniors who don't want to lose anymore, and, and they're putting it out there. And hopefully, that'll teach the juniors that we need to start creating this culture of winning every year. And um, yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I've been playing basketball my entire life. I started when I was five years old, and it's just um, just a way for me to compete. I just love all the competition that basketball has. Um, I used to play a lot of sports growing up, but I just fell in love with basketball, and that's the one I stuck with. What do you think it was about basketball that made you stay with that one? Honestly, I think I was just better at it than the other sports I was playing, and um, I just uh, love the, the team aspect of just playing with a bunch of other guys and um, just, uh, yeah, just having a good time. Because you did play other sports, were there other things that you could bring that you learned other sports that help you on the hardwood? Of course, um, I played soccer a lot and just the movement and um, just playing on a bigger field. It uh, really just taught me a lot about vision, just seeing the court better. And uh, yeah, I think soccer really helped me uh, transition to playing basketball. Since you've been playing for so long, um, what do you kind of work on in your own game to get better from year to year? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I'm I'm shorter, obviously, so um, dribbling and shooting is um, the most important thing for me. But also, um, just staying in shape is really important. But yeah, um, making my shot consistent, making it quicker, having a faster release to get shots off over uh, taller defenders, it's uh, really important. What kind of messages do the coaches try to impart on you guys so you remember them? Uh, yeah. Um, our coaches, they, um, they're always telling us that we have to have good attitudes and we have to play hard as a team, work hard together. Um, just always playing for your teammates, just being a good teammate. Okay, and then do you have any like pregame routines that you do? Or? Um, yeah, so I'm always the last one out of the locker room. I'm always just uh, doing a quick little prayer. I'm always listening to um, my Christian music before a game. And, just helps me get focused and ready. Um, I've been playing basketball probably since I was like three or four years old. Um, uh, like organized basketball probably since I was like five or six years old. And I chose it as my sport because I tried um, football, swimming, uh, baseball, and uh, I just love the game of basketball the best. What do you think it is about this game that you liked over the other ones? Um, well, when I was a little kid, I liked watching the Lakers, and I was like, one of the main uh, factors of me playing the sport, just like uh, looking up to Kobe and like all those players and wanting to be like them, yeah. Since you've been playing it for so long, what do you sort of work on in your own game to get better from year to year? Um, I always work on like the fundamentals um, consistently and then um, just anything I can improve on that our coaches look out for or um, that people see that I can improve on shooting, dribbling, just all the stuff, yeah. What kind of messages do the coaches kind of impart on you guys that they want you to remember? They want us to know like we're playing for the team and not ourselves, and everyone needs to be unselfish and to remember to have that discipline and um, we, had a, we had a rough season last year so we're pretty motivated to do that. Okay. And 
do you have any like pre-game routine that you go through or? Yeah, I, I eat a bag of Skittles before every game. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? Um, since my like sophomore year. Uh, I've been playing basketball since probably second grade. Um, I chose it as my first sport uh, because my dad wouldn't let me play football. <laughs> and uh, it's a very active game. It's, I mean, baseball, I have really short attention spans, so I always get bored with baseball, but basketball is, you know, everything's moving, everything's happening, so I never get bored. Have you learned other things from other sports to help you with the hardwood? Um, definitely. Uh, I used to do, like, <laughs> martial arts, and I don't know, that helps with, like, focus, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and then from season to season, because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on specifically in your own game to get a little better? Um, well, when I first came in, uh, I was like a, more of like a attack the basket type of player. And um, I, I wasn't really that athletic, so I focused on my shot because I know that's something that I can like practice and get better at. And then um, now that's basically what my game is. I'm a, I'm a shooter for the team, so that's basically, yeah. What's the message that the coaches want to drill into your head? Um, the main thing is, so PV High used to be known as not a great basketball school. So our motto this year is to change our reputation and, you know what I mean, change what people think about us. And how do you do that? Uh, win. <laughs> and that's basically it, yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have any, like, um, pregame routines that you do? Uh... Um, yeah, I always, me and my friend Aiden, we always listen to music together on the bus, and um, when we get there, um, we keep listening to music in the locker room. We don't speak basically the entire time before the game. And, what kind of music? Uh, ironically, it's not like rap or very intense. It's really mellow music. Actually something that I'd probably fall asleep to usually, but. I've been playing basketball since maybe like kindergarten, and I've always had a passion for it, so that's why, and I'm just like continue playing, so. You played other sports, so what do you think you learned from those sports that help you now on the hardwood? Um, I learned just to like work hard and like keep at it, like don't give up and stuff like that. So uh, that's what I learned, yeah. What do you like the most about this game? Um, just how fast paced it is and um, how it's still like a team sport, but at the same time, like you like one player can do a lot. So it has like like a lot like of stuff from other sports in, into it. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? I mean, you can always improve on everything. Like, you can never be, like, like, ama like amazing at everything. So you can always, like, improve on stuff. So I just work on things that I'm not good at and things I'm good at. So. What's been sort of the biggest challenge this season for this team? Um, just uh, staying motivated because uh, we're, like, 9-0 and at one point, And so... Uh, just like staying motivated and keep winning is, yeah. And then um, what is the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, just to stay positive and stay focused. That's the, those are the two main things. Right. And then do you have like a pregame ritual that you do? Um, listening to music <laughs> with my friend Noah and uh, I eat spaghetti before my game. That's so okay. I've been playing basketball pretty much since I can remember, probably like six, five or six. Um, my dad always coached me when I was little uh, at Bogdanovich, so he he like coached all of our teams. So he got me um, into it, and then I just kept going with it. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I also play volleyball for for the. Interesting. What do you think you learned in volleyball that helped you on the hardwood? Um, well, definitely uh, like for basketball, it's more conditioning in the preseasons, but for volleyball, it's like jump training. So it it really helps increase my vertical, and that helps a lot for basketball as well. What do you tend to work on in the off season to get a little better in your own game? Um, I tend to I tend to shoot a lot more. I think this year especially. Um, last season I didn't have much of a jump shot, but coming into this season I I was I practiced a lot. So. Is it difficult to the time that you need to spend doing sports and getting your schoolwork done, or how do you sort of manage that? Yeah, I mean uh, we're all kind of in the same boat, so we all kind of you know uh, try to work together as much as we can. A lot of us have similar classes, so. Yeah. Um, what are the messages the coaches try to get you to remember? Um, that we do everything as a team. It's all about it's all about our family. So, um, you know, that we might have individual skill here and there, but it's all about how we win as a team together at the end of the day. Okay. And then, um, do you have any pregame routines that you do? 
Uh, other than rolling out, I've I've had some back issues, so I'd roll out before games and then um, usually just listen to music and just get ready for the game. I've been playing basketball since about seventh grade, and originally I was a football player, but then I had a one travel ball coach who just believed in me, and uh, basketball is now my main sport. Interesting. What did you think you learned or you got out of football that actually helps you here now? Just teamwork and trusting in your teammates and uh, making sure that everything you do is not for yourself but for your team. What do you work on in the off season to get a little better at this game? Um, a lot of conditioning. Um, just going in the backyard, just shooting free throws, layups, dribbling the ball. What is the biggest challenge for this team? Um, I'd say the biggest challenge for this team is just not to be scared when we're going up against rivals and knowing that we have nothing in the fear, that we're number one in our division and that we can we can beat any team that we can. A lot of, a lot of confidence for sure. Okay. And then, um, what is the message that the coach tries to get you to remember? I'd say the message that our coach tries to get us to remember is just focusing on just focusing on team ball and not getting too into the one-on-one -on -one stuff and just just trying just 100 percent effort all the time and before a game do you have like a pre-game ritual that you do uh not really just mainly listen to music i've been playing basketball since i was eight years old i'm 16 now so eight years um i started playing basketball because my dad has always played basketball and my stepdad has also helped me with basketball but my first initial sport was um football and soccer and I chose basketball just because I picked it up, I saw it on TV, and I thought it was the fun sport to play. Interesting, because you played other sports, what do you think that you maybe learned playing other sports that actually help you with this game? Yeah, well, football, uh, my aggressiveness and um, like intensity for playing basketball or any type of sport and competing, and soccer helped me a lot with my footwork and agility, lateral quickness, and uh, quickness just in general as well. From season to season, because you've been playing a long time, what do you work on to get a little better at this game? Well, I have um, basketball trainers that help me with uh, my speed and agility and also um, moves, basketball moves and uh, shooting. So I do that a lot in the off season. And here at PVI, we run a lot during the off season. So miles help get my endurance and stamina up. You guys spend a lot of time, obviously, training for this. Is it difficult to manage schoolwork, too, or how do you kind of do that? Yeah, um, well, being a um, player and a student, you know, school always comes first, so you got to get your work done. But the teachers do a good job helping us. We have block schedule here, so it's not that hard when we have practice to come back home and finish a little bit of schoolwork. And the teachers are not always overwhelming. Right now we have finals, so it's a little stressful. We had a game last night that I had to go back home to study at 10 o'clock. But for the most part, it's not that hard. Dedication for sure. What are the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Um, work hard, play hard, leave it all on the floor. Don't lollygag or do any stupid things. Just play your game and have fun. Okay. Um, do you have any pregame rituals that you do? Well, I like to listen to music. I always listen to hip hop before games. Always have something to eat, like a banana, apple, granola bar. And um, that's about it. Yeah, just listen to music and eat a little bit. I'd say I've been playing basketball about 11 years. And I chose it as my sport because um, I just like the camaraderie of the game, playing with my teammates, um, bonding with them. I don't think it can, can be matched with all the other sports. Did you try any other sports? Uh, yes, I did. I actually played baseball and then soccer when I was really little. Do you feel like playing those sports, you learned anything th that helps you on the hardwood? Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, baseball, um, some people say it's a slow game and you have to have some patience. So you can definitely implement that on the court a little bit. So I'd say definitely there. And then what are the messages that the coaches always want you to remember? Um, I would say they just want us to have fun out there. They're always supporting us. Okay. And then from season to season, because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on in your own game to get a little better? Um, definitely my shooting, my ball handling. I want to keep that tight. Um, my defense, um, and then just my quickness, that type of stuff too. Okay. Because you guys spend so much time working on this and being in school, is that kind of hard to manage? or? Um, yeah, I definitely say that's hard to balance for all of us. We're all 
you know, we all have to go to class, come to practice, and then do homework after, late at night. So. Good time management, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, um, do you have any like pre-game rituals that you do or routines? Um, yeah, I actually take a nap before every game, and then I'll eat a Snickers bar. I've been playing for about six years, I think, seven years maybe. Um, and my dad played when he was younger, so he just taught me at a young age, and it was really fun. Did you try any other sports? Uh, yeah, I swam, and uh, I played golf for a little bit. But yeah, basketball is more of my thing. So. What do you think that you may have learned, even swimming, that helps you on the hardwood? Um, I learned uh, perseverance, and uh, it's a lot of hard work to achieve what you want to achieve, so yeah. What is it about this game that made you want to stick with it? Um, it's just uh, fast paced and really energetic and I kind of like that more. It's back and forth a lot, so that's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of energy, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, and what are, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, that uh, there's a lot of messages they give us, like uh, listening, hard work, and uh, it applies to life, so just remember those throughout the years. From season to season, because you've been playing for a while, what do you work on specifically in your own game to get a little better? Um, I work on a lot of ball handling and uh, shooting, finishing around the basket, just to uh, improve offensive performance and stuff like that. All right, you play with your brother on the same team. What is that like? Uh, it's really fun. Yeah, it's uh, we spend a lot of time together. So yeah. Are, are you super competitive at home or? Oh uh, yeah, we're pretty competitive. Yeah. Here and there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, and do you have any uh, pregame routines that you do? Um, not really, no. I like to get a good stretch in and get some shots up before the warm-up, so right. that's about it. Uh, I've been playing basketball since around the age, like, six, and uh, my dad was always encouraging me to play the sport. And I always favored it over other sports. Did you try any other sports? Football, yeah. I played football a lot. And I like football, but I chose basketball. Okay. What do you think you learned in football that actually helps you in this sport? Uh, the aggressiveness and um, the... Yeah, pretty much just the aggressiveness. People are so aggressive in football, and that kind of transferred over into basketball. From season to season, because you've been an athlete your whole life, what do you sort of work on to get better at this game? Uh, my defense and my um, drive just to get better every day and uh, working out constantly and, um, yeah, just pretty much those things. You guys spend so much time, you know, here in the working on basketball and in school. How do you sort of balance that? Uh, it's tough. It's tough to balance that. And um, I don't, last year was tough for me because I didn't know how to balance it. This year I got better at time management and other things like that. And I've been more successful in the classroom and I think on the court as well. Okay. And then um, what messages do your coaches kind of want you guys to remember? Uh, just work together as a team. And if, we, uh, if we're confident in each other, we'll, we'll win games. Um, do you have any pregame rituals that you do? or? Uh, I don't have that many pregame rituals. Usually just before games I always listen to music to get me into it and yeah, pretty much just listen to music. Any specific kind of music? Or? Rap music, preferably. I've been playing basketball since around 6th grade okay. and I just stuck with it because I like how it's like a constant paced kind of sport. It's not like football where they pause all over. I like the constant movement, like constant physicality and stuff like that. Do you ever play any other sports? I played soccer in the mix there. How do you think that soccer, or some of the things that you learned in soccer, actually help you in this sport? I think soccer, there's a lot of like, as you're going for the ball, there's a lot of like offhand physicality, like getting the ball aggressiveness and all that stuff, and it like kind of translates into basketball. Okay. From season to season, what do you work on specifically to get a little better in this game? Uh, ball handling and shooting mostly every single day, because you got to keep that like rhythm. Is it difficult to balance this with schoolwork, or is it just a time management thing? Sometimes it's really difficult because I come from practice and then I gotta either pick up something and then go home and eat, or like just balancing it all out because schoolwork, homework, and everything. It's just there's a lot. Yeah. What's the message that the coaches tried to get you guys to remember? They mostly like they say also keep everything balanced and also stay positive on everything, just to keep like working towards of your goal of like mostly putting a CIF up there this year yeah. and just getting better every day. Good motivation for sure. Do you have any kind of a pregame ritual that you do? Or? I listen to music. Any particular kind? Uh, a lot of hip hop. I've been playing it my whole life since like third grade and I chose it because I just really find it fun and like it just gets it's a sport that gets you energized and hyped up and gets you all riled up and I just like that feeling go through you. Did you ever play any other sports? 
Uh, yeah, I did when I was little. I played all kinds of sports like water polo, football, but then I limited it down to one in high school. Because you're an athlete, what do you think you've learned for, from playing other sports that actually help you on the hardwood? Just to, to be physical, um, not let anyone punk you around, um, just to have like always be strong and just always be focused with what you want to do. Okay. From season to season, because you have been playing this a long time, what do you work on specifically in your own game to get a little better? Uh, I always work on my jump shot because I'm not very tall, so I always got to be able to shoot the ball. What's the message that the coaches try to get you guys to remember all the time? Um, just to go out there and have fun, and as, as long as we're winning, like, you're having fun, and just to, to stay focused on the goal this year and to win Bay League. Okay. And um, do you have, like, a pregame routine that you do, or? Uh, usually I just, I like to take, a, like, a two-hour nap before games. Yeah, just nap, just get, get as much energy as you can before the game, eat good food, things like that. Um, I've been playing basketball for about... My whole, since I was four years old, so yeah, like 12 years or something like that. Um, and I don't know, I just stuck with it because I just kept getting taller and then soccer, it was the same season, so I decided to do basketball and it was more fun too. Did you play soccer for a while? Or? Yeah, up until eighth grade, I was playing like club, club soccer and like all that. I think that you learned the most playing soccer that helps you on the hardwood? Um, probably like my footwork and my stamina, it was up there. And then once I stopped playing soccer, my stamina went down, but I think my footwork was still a little bit faster than others. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Uh, I go up and practice with like trainers and stuff. And we, you know, we practice with the team all every day, and that gets us better, like together. We get better bonds, and we make each other better. And we just go hard at each other at practice and stuff, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. What are some of the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Um, just to be a young adult and take responsibility for your actions, and just do what you're told. You know, be disciplined, coachable, and most of all, have fun with what you're doing. Okay. Um, do you have a pregame routine that you do? Um, I mean, I listen to gospel music uh, for a little bit, and then I just, I don't know, that's about it. Okay. I'm playing basketball since I was maybe in the um, kindergarten, probably. It's been a while, and um, I was been on the taller side, so it kind of worked out for me. I tried basketball. I mean, I tried football and volleyball or sports, but I was finally up for basketball. Kind of, I can kind of like control the game in a sense, unlike other sports you might not be able to. Because you're an athlete, what do you think that you learn trying other sports that help you in basketball? Um, you just learn, learn how to compete and um, really find um, the strength in the team. Because I played volleyball, I played football, and um, it doesn't doesn't uh, all all sports you need teammates to uh, back you up. You got to back them up, and it's all works together of a team. Okay. And from season to season, what, what do you specifically work on in your own game to get a little better? Work on my I, um, a lot of strength, like strength stuff, like get my uh, vertical leap up. I do a lot of uh, leg work and um, always ball handling is a big thing. Then shoot better. And you guys spend so much time practicing. Is it difficult to kind of balance the schoolwork with the basketball time? Um, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Um, junior, junior year is a big year. Got a lot of APs and SATs to study for, but. Um, we, we we make it work a little couple late nights, but you kind of gotta um, um, take time out. Yeah, figure it out pretty much. Like you can't always watch the TV show you want to watch. You gotta like study a little bit. Exactly. Okay. And what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Main thing is de defense and always um, communicate on the court. Big thing is talking on the court because you gotta let them know what, where the help is and uh, just let people know because um, if you don't talk on the court, then you can't help them out and they're kind of lost out there. Um, do you have like a pregame routine that you do? Pregame, um, not. I mean, I stretch out a ton, do a lot. Of, I get the big foam roller and do that for like 30 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, a long time, and um, drink a drink a lot of water. And I always got to eat. Yeah, you, you, you like a salad, some spinach, some spinach the night before maybe. I originally started playing basketball competitively in seventh grade. Okay. Um, originally, I was like a big soccer guy, but a lot of my friends decided they want to play high school basketball, so I decided to get the early start and, and join them. So. What do you think it was about this game that you wanted to switch over and focus on? Um, 
I love the atmosphere in high school. It's a really I love playing at nighttime, and it's a really fun atmosphere where everyone comes out to the basketball games and the cheerleaders and everything. It makes it a really fun atmosphere, and all my friends play, so I decided to join them and and have a good time with it. Season to season, what do you work on specifically to get a little better in your own game? Um, personally, I just try to get stronger and faster. A lot of um, time in the weight room and a lot of time doing sprints and stuff on the track and just trying to get in shape and, and get ready for the season. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. You guys spend so much time working on this. Is it difficult to kind of balance schoolwork and this? Um, not really because, I mean, we only have this two hours a day, so we have the rest of the day to do schoolwork. And at PV High, we have a block schedule, which is an amazing schedule that helps us balance everything out. So not really. It's, it's been a really fun time here, and everything's worked out perfectly. So. Okay. Um, what's the messages that your coaches want you guys to remember? Um, I think just have integrity on and off the court and, and be responsible and be respectful to everyone. You know, like at some point this all this is going to go away and you have to go to the real world and you have to be responsible and be confident in yourself and, and treat people the right way. So I think it's more than basketball with our coaches and, and they really instilled that in us this year, So which is a great thing. Yeah. All right, and then do you have like a pregame routine that you do? I go to the gym before the free. I, I like to go to the gym and, and get a lift in before uh, before games. It just like gets me hyped up, and that's that's yeah, that's my pregame ritual. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. So I had to ask the guys, being in LA, Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else. The answers might surprise you. I have to ask you, Coach, because I asked all of them. Um, Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Oh, Lakers, definitely. Lakers all all the way, even when they were bad, even when we didn't have LeBron and all that stuff. So Lakers. Uh, Lakers, Lakers. Okay. Is LeBron going to help the Lakers return to the promised land? I hope so. <laughs> Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? So. Yeah, a Lakers for sure, yeah. Lakers. <laughs> I'm a Celtics fan, so uh, that's, that's my team. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Uh, yeah. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one. I like the Boston Celtics. Lakers. Will LeBron bring them back to the promised land? Hopefully. <laughs> I'll be a Laker fan right now. LeBron's back. Um, I was a Clipper fan until Chris Ball left, but I also enjoy watching the Warriors a lot. I'd have to go with the Lakers. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Oh, I like Lakers. Lakers, yeah. Okay. Family's been a Lakers fan for forever, so. The Warriors. No, I like the Celtics. I like Kyrie. Uh, I gotta go with the Lakers. Uh, I have to go with my Lakers. Yeah. Definitely Lakers. Definitely Lakers. Oh, all right. Um, last question. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else? Oh, Lakers. <laughs> Lakers, I was born with purple and gold blood for sure. I was, I swear, I was born with a Lakers jersey on. I came out of the room with a Lakers jersey on. So. How do you feel about the new addition? Oh, I love, I love LeBron. I don't know why everyone's hating on him, but I, I love LeBron. I think he's amazing, and obviously he's been absent the last couple of games that we haven't been doing good. So it obviously showed that he's been a big part of our success this year. So. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.